again on the charge for today. My name is Kayo De Sonny. And before I go on, I want to say thanks to everyone who listens to the charge. I want to say thank you. Uh, without you, there can be me. And I want to say thank you for taking the time to always listen to the charge. And today, I believe that you're going to be richly blessed by what is going to be dropping today. As they say, they say talk is cheap. Everyone knows that. But how many people live in that reality that talk is cheap and then action is the solution? Because everyone can analyze. If you look at it, in fact, I'm a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian. And one of the characteristics of the things we do majorly is to talk and talk and talk and talk. But we never really or nobody is really taking that time to take decisive step to say, you know what, for this problem that we have, this is the action we are going to take and this is what we are going to do. And we're going to do this and do that to see that there's a solution at the end for us. So it then means that it's not about having knowledge. It's not about having ideas. It's about the willingness to take action. It's about taking the action. You have the knowledge. And are you willing to take that action? And have you taken that action? You know, there was one session we had together where I spoke on the four tests of discipline. And one of the, one of the things I, I spoke about as the test of discipline is doing what you said you will do. And you can see how this ties to everything. It's not okay to just be wise. To say you have wise in your head, you are wise. But you are not taking any action you are wise, yes, but no one will ever know until you take action. And I know that there are several factors as to why people don't want to take that next level. For one, they are, they are scared. They are, you know, there's this thing they call fear of the unknown, fear of troubled waters. And for some, it's just that they are scared of stretching. They feel that this next step will stretch them and then they are just okay being in the comfort zone. But guess what? Staying in the comfort, comfort zone will not get you anywhere also. Because it's also hard. Uh, as they say, they'll say choose your heart. Staying in one comfort zone, staying in your comfort zone, and staying, staying, staying in one place is hard enough. So which one would you rather have? That you can stay in your comfort zone and it is hard or that you'll take that next step that stretches you and it is hard. All right. So we've got to see that it's not just about having these ideas, having this analysis. And there's something they call analysis paralysis, where someone just sits down with the plan. You know, this is what I have in mind, the goal. And one month, two months, three months, one year, they never get to do anything. And then you wonder why their life is on one spot. Taking the wrong step is even better than not taking any action at all right and i'll have this interesting quote from this interesting men who delve into the idea of taking action and we're going to go through them to see why it's important to begin to take that action what is that one thing that you need to do today to get your life forward you've analyzed enough it is time to get going it's time to do it now you know someone someone was telling that when's the best time to take an action and i'll say no the person was even saying no you, sh you should have started yesterday <laughs> that's how urgent it is and there's this one i there's this quote from uh mr kule that he says you know he, he said that if you start now in fact you are already you are already late if you are waiting for a perfect time to start trust me you are already late because time is moving things are moving by the time you say you want to start again you'll need to be able to keep up with what's already on ground but what if you what with the information that you have what if by the information that you have right now you can run with it. Why not run with the information that you have for now? I know that you're trying to get more information or for someone, they have just information and sometimes too much information can cripple you. Too much information can cripple you because you've seen this, you've heard that, you've done that, but then you're not moving. So it's not just about having the information, it's about doing the work. And while you may be scared, it's okay to do it scared. That's how you can test your agility. That's, that's what life is all about. And what's life without a little bit of uncertainty? Tell me, what's life without a little bit of uncertainty? In fact, if you ask me, I think that's one of the things that major, majorly characterizes the potency of life. The beauty of life is in uncertainty. Imagine if you know what will happen to you tomorrow. You might not even do anything. But when you take that step, you at least you, you at least you have that confidence that okay let me just take this one step and i think another challenge for some of us is that we want to 
take the whole thing once and for all. So, for example, I enter into a building, a skyscraper. It's like 33 floors and I'm supposed to see someone on the 30th floor. I'm not just going to think of it like 33 floors and I'm going to just fly. That's what some people want to do. They just want to fly and get to the 30th floor immediately. But you've forgotten that before you can get to the 30th floor, there are some steps. Even when you take the elevator, the elevator has to come from ground up, then go up. It has to start from the ground. Everything takes process. You can't just want to take everything at once. And I think that's the challenge for some of us. It's that we are, we are thinking of taking everything. You want to do everything at once. What if you begin to break down the steps into small steps? All of those big dreams that you have, why not break it down into small things, small steps, small actionable steps today? And for those that are afraid, come on, shake it off. I wish you courage. But the thing is, you are not going to get anywhere just by being afraid of what this next step will do to you. For anyone who is afraid of a little bit of stretching, you are not going to get anywhere. So choose your heart to stay in your comfort zone and things still be hard or to stretch yourself a little bit and you can know that or for sure, you can be sure that at least there's something new that will have taken root in you. There's something new that will have come out of you by the virtue of you just stretching yourself just by taking that next step. But nothing will happen if we do not take that next step. Nothing will ever happen if we don't take that next step. And this one right here, I, I, I love this uh, quote from the, the late Martin Luther King Jr. It says, you don't have to see the old staircase, just take the first step. And this for me speaks to all those people that want to, you know, take the whole staircase. You feel like you can just jump everything. Like, just like, ah, there, 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 there are 18 steps. Let me just climb up to the 18th, 18th uh, floor right but you've got to take it one step at a time take the first step you don't have to see the old staircase and sometimes you don't know what's coming next like i said the beauty of life is in its uncertainty yes life is enveloped in uncertainty right so you don't have to necessarily see the old staircase you just have to take that first step i love this one also it says winners take imperfect action while losers are still perfecting the plan those are for all the anal analyzers you know and you, you, they wake up every day, you know, they, they look at that plan and they're like, yes, this is a four-figure plan, seven-plan agenda, we will do this. But ask them, what have you done? And uh, you see, the reason why I've not done anything, no, 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 please, leave all that perfect plan, leave it. Yes, it's good to plan, we're not saying it's bad to plan, have the plan. But what's a plan without an action? That is how we know you, you've, you, you've planned. And who also knows, your plan may not eventually work. In fact, as a, as a matter of fact, even the plan that you have, by the time you take that next step, you realize that, okay, wait, I, sh I should have even drawn up, a, drawn up a better plan. Why? Because action is the defining moment. Action is that defining uh, spot where things begin to really happen. And let me say this, nothing moves until you move. Nothing moves until you move. So you've got to take that first step. Action. There's this uh, popular proverb, action speaks louder than words. Action speaks louder than voice. You can't keep talking and talking. When are you going to do the work? As citizens of Nigeria, as citizens of the world, because I see myself as a global citizen, when we're talking about world, the world and the things that need changing, in our own space, what little actions are we taking to contribute to that solution that we are always talking about? You can't just talk about the problems. What actions, what little steps are you taking to see through that, that, you know, the solutions are coming on board. So do it now. Whatever you need to do, do it now. Take that step today. Do whatever you need to do. If you're afraid, do it scared. I don't know who said it now. It doesn't matter. Do it scared. If you're afraid, yeah, do it afraid. Do it scared. That's how you can test yourself. That's how you can grow. That's how something new can be birthed in your life. That's how you can even encourage yourself to see that I've done this before, I can do more. That's how you can push yourself to do more. And for the analyzers again, enough of talking. Take that step today, all right? Stop waiting for the perfect plan. In fact, the action is the plan. The action is the plan. So do it now. That's my charge to you. Take that your plan again. What's the first thing that you wrote? Do that first thing. 
okay, there are not enough resources to go around. I'm sure there are other kinds of resources. And I think that's another problem for some of us is that we are waiting that we get the whole resources to start. Trust me, you can always start with anything. You can always start with anything. You don't have to wait for everything to be in place. Whatever little thing you can get, start with it and run with it. Before you know it, it builds up some sort of independence for you where you can now, in fact, it helps your creativity because you are now creative in the use of resources. You can you can be creative with the way you use, you use your resources. And before you know it, you are learning something new about yourself. There's something new that is coming out of you. But do that thing. Take that step today. If you're afraid, do it afraid. For those that, have, that are waiting for the perfect plan, it's okay to have a perfect plan, but do it now. And for those that have been talking about it, do it now. Whatever circumstance you may find yourself right now, do it. You think that you don't have enough resources? Well, the ones that you, the ones that you have, start with it. Do it now. Take that action today. And I so much believe that your life will progress even as you take that step today. Thank you for tuning in on the chat for today. My name is Kayo Desoni. See you next time. Thank you.